I'd now like to ask my colleague from WIDER to um, load the presentation that has been pre-recorded by uh, our colleague Finorio Castigo, who is representing the Mozambique team. My name is Finorio Castigo. I'm a member of the National Mozmod team. This presentation uses Mozmod, a micro simulation model for Mozambique, to estimate the impact of expanding the Basque Social Subsidy Program, uh, BSSP, to reach more eligible households on poverty and inequality. And, the po and this pulse brief was drawn up by experts from various institutions, including the National Institute of Statistics, the National Institute of Social Action, and the Minister of Economy and Finance. Uh, the, the database used for this simulation is the eye of 2014. Uh, here are the main points we'll try to cover in this presentation. Uh, what do you want to do in, in this presentation? Uh, or in this pulse brief, we work on that, is to reach 28% of the vulnerable population is a target set in the government's five-year programs, PKG, 2020 and 2044. So the BSSP uh, covers 442,246, uh, uh, that is mean as 16% 16, 16 of all households covered by social protection in, the, in Mozambique. So, uh, BSSP and uh, the Positive Social Action Program, PASP, and Direct Social uh, Program, PASP, uh, the, 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 these three programs, uh, they Current coverage rate uh, 2022 in biosocial protection program is 22%. So, our assumption uh, for reaching 28% uh, of household who is poverty is, uh, is spending or will be the expansion of the main base social uh, protection program. BSSP. Uh, the, the, this program, uh, BSSP, has been implemented, implemented in Mozambique since uh, 1995. It's a long term uh, cash transfer for, for labor constrained households and for the, that is, uh, the people uh, eligible is the people living in extreme poverty and vulnerability, and uh, the household in the, fall, in the falling situation are eligible if that household have uh, uh, the health people, uh, disabled people, or people with current or degenerative disease, uh, which should be between zero and two years of age, who are malnourished, and the head of the shield the household headed by children or with orphan and vulnerable children. And the table sh shows the current amounts that the beneficiary receive and the purpose uh, presented by the National Institute for Social Action. Uh, the amounts uh, to be received depend uh, on the number of female members in the household. Uh, where a household with a single member receive, receives uh, 540 metric cash, and if there are five members in the household, they currently receive 1,000 metric cash. And that is uh, the current amounts, and uh, we, we have uh, how the INASH uh, proposes for 
for for for for to, for, to receive the, 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 the new the new amount to receive the, the household with the, who is poor 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 so uh, we we sim, see, we simulated uh, in this post brief for four scenarios the the, the first one uh, to reaching to reaching uh, 20 percent of household living below of the poverty line be expanded the Bay SSP with the current amount of transfer and in scenario two we try uh, reaching a uh, 20 percent of household living below the poverty line be expanding the Bay SSP with transfer amounts adjusted to INAS properly for the year 2022. To scenario three we tried the reasoning the hundred percent of eligible households regards of whether uh, they are below the poverty line or not but by expanding the base SSP with equivalent transfer amounts. For scenario four, we tried the reason the hundred percent of eligible households, uh, regardless of whether they are below the poverty line or not, by expanding the base SSP with the transfer uh, amounts adjusted to inner purpose for 2022. Uh, our our uh, uh, works, uh, they give that results. To reach 28% of household in scenario one, the government will need an, an additional 1,364,530 metric cash, which would bring with it a 0.23 percent of reduction in poverty and 0.19 percent of reduction in the levels of inequality me measured by gene index for scenario two the increase in the subside coupled with the expansion in the number of beneficiaries would require uh, require one increase of two million eight Hundred eighty-two thousand nine hundred ninth medical uh, on the part of the government, and in terms of the impact on poverty and the inequality, a reduction of uh, zero point two five percent and zero point two forty four percent respectively. In scenario three, uh, the government require a, a, a certain. Uh, Eight millions of metric cash uh, to, re to reduce the poverty and inequality be around 1.5% and 1.25% uh, respectively. The scenario sh four uh, shows that an increase of, of uh, near 12 million of, of metric cash is needed with the potential to reduce poverty be 2.4% uh, and the inequality be 1.84. Uh, the expansion, expansion of the program in different scenarios has an impact on three policies and the most vulnerable Household, especially uh, those located in the 20th and the 40th percentiles uh, in scenario two. The average monthly per capita consumption in the 20th percentile is 7,464 point on 10th metric, uh, while in the 40th percentile it is 764 and six trends medicals below below the country poverty line uh, 50,111 medical per month it should be not that in scenario 4 uh, the, there is a significant increase in the level of consumption 
of 8% and 40% percent respectively 40 40 and uh, uh, 20 and 40 percentiles demonstrating uh, the favorability in of implement, implementing this scenario in terms of nominal impacts on the level of consumption uh, and in terms of nominal impacts on the level of consumption of the mass vulnerable household. Uh, our finding, uh, expanding the BSSP to cover the target of 28% of households below, below the poverty line between 2024, as is defined in the package has the potential to reduce the poverty rate be up to 0.5% uh, uh, in the simulated scenarios. Expanding the Bay SSP to cover all eligible households has a higher uh, potential impact on poverty reduction, potentially reducing it by up to 2.4% in the simula simulated scenarios. So we conclude that uh, an investment ab above current values and extending the co coverage of the base BSSP drastically reduce uh, poverty. So uh, that's all uh, our, 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 our I want to bring for today. So muito obrigado. Thank you.